day, church. It is another day for all of us. Truly, God is good. Every day we get to see God's faithfulness. No matter where we are, who we are, and how's our situation, God will always be with us. For our on-site service attendees, here are the health protocols and church safety we need to keep in mind. Upon entering the building, it is a must to wear a face mask and a face shield. Please wear it for the rest of the service. Sanitize using alcohol provided as we enter the premises. There will be a temperature check at the receiving area. Please observe a physical distance of about 6 feet or 1.5 meters. For tithes and offering, there will be a designated drop box near the sanctuary entrance. The communion for every first Sunday of the month will be self-service. Our friendly ushers will guide you along the way. By the end of the service, we can leave the building by row, starting from the back. We know that we miss being with each other inside the church, but we need to be mindful of these protocols for our safety. Greet each other without close contact. Giving a wave to say hi, a bow as a gesture of respect, or a big air hug. We care about your safety. Besides from the protocols we need to follow inside the sanctuary, we are also assuring you that the premises are being disinfected before and after every service. Stay safe and connected everyone. Let us prepare our hearts to experience God's amazing presence as we celebrate through praise and worship. Also, let us have a receptive heart upon receiving God's message for all of us. God bless everyone! Let me tell you about him. Jesus is his name. And I'm all about him. I live to bring him praise. He is the way and the truth and the life. God is three in one. Reigning undefeated. Our God is overcome. Jesus, 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 let me tell you about him, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, there is no one like him, there is none at all, Alpha and Omega, Resurrected Savior, Jesus is his name, let me tell you about him. It's what 
you deserve Oh Jesus, I will lift your name up high Hey, hey I lift your name up high In one, two, one, two, three, woo
gives all praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Minsan pa isigaw natin, malakas na. Hallelujah. thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Just to be in your presence, Lord, is enough. God, you're worthy of our worship. You deserve yung aming hininga, ang aming lakas, ang bawat tibok ng puso namin. It says in the word of the Lord, then Jesus said to the crowd, if any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way Take up your cross daily and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, for the sake of Jesus, you will save it. There is real satisfying life in Jesus. So we will follow the Lord. Come on, just lift up your hands and tell to the Lord, Lord, I will follow you. I will follow you, God. We will follow you all. Lord, we will follow you with all our hearts, with all our might, with all our strength. We will follow you, Jesus. Oh, we will follow you. We will follow you, Jesus. You deserve our life, Jesus. We will follow you. We will follow you.
Spilled your blood. I spilled my. 
welcome you in this place, Lord God. Let your will be done, Lord God. We enthrone you in the praises of our mouths, oh God. Salamat po, Panginoon. Anoint your servant as he minister to us through your word, oh God. We are ready to receive your message. We thank you, Lord God. Just have your way. This is our prayer. And all the people of God will say, Amen. Amen. Praise God. 
Amen. Good morning. Amen. So welcome po sa ating first Sunday of the month na service po natin. So since ito po yung first Sunday of the month, we'll be having our communion. So tuloy-tuloy na po tayo. Could you kindly close your eyes and let us pray and seek God and ask the Holy Spirit to quicken our minds, your hearts, before we partake this Holy Communion. Father God, truly we humble ourselves before you and believing you are a Holy God. Hindi po magbabago ang pagiging banal mo. Kaya nagpapakumbaba po kami, humihingi po kami ng kapatawaran. Lord, before we partake this Holy Communion, at salamat sa kapangyarihan ng iyong banal na dugo mo na pinaging banal po kaming muli at nilinis sa lahat ng aming mga kasalanan. You are worthy to be praised. At maraming salamat, i-reveal mong muli sa amin, Lord, yung napakaganda, punong-puno ng pagmamahal na ginawa mo sa cross at Calvary. We thank you, God. This all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It says here, For I receive from the Lord what I also pass unto you. The Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Sabay-sabay po nating ipartake yung bread. In the same way, after, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Sabay-sabay po nating inumin. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much sa iyong bugtong na anak na aming Panginoong Jesus na ibinigay mo sa amin, Panginoon, sa katubusan ng aming mga kasalanan. And we thank you, Jesus, sa mga latay na tinanggap mo sa krus ng Kalbaryo, sa iyong katawan na nagpapagaling ng anumang sakit at karamdaman. And we thank you, Jesus, sa iyong blood na tumigis sa krus ng Kalbaryo na nagtubos at naglinis ng aming mga kasalanan. We thank you, God. This is all we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Sige po, makakaupo na po tayo. So, once again, welcome po sa ating uh, uh, Sunday worship service. And welcome din po for those tuning in and watching us uh, this day. And I know and I do believe that we will hear uh, great things from the Lord. Can we say Amen? Ang mga excited po na makatatanggap na mga dakilang bagay kay Lord mula sa Kanyang salita, pwede ba tayong po malakpak sa Panginoon? Sabi ko po, palakpak para kay Jesus. So, February na po. So, ito po ang ating new series po na pag-uusapan, Whole Month Destined. So today, I'll be loving to share to you about destined to reign. So, what is the meaning of uh, destined? Sabi nga, to set apart for a specific purpose. Yan po yung meaning ng destined. Okay? Then, reign, it means to exert dominion or authority. Napakaganda po nung meaning nung dalawa. Sabi, to set apart for a specific purpose to exert dominion or authority. So, yan po yung pag-uusapan po natin ngayong umaga. And if you have your Bibles with you, kindly open it in the book of uh, Judges chapter 6 verses uh, 11 up to 12. And on that verses, it tells us, the angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in Oprah, 
and belonged to Joas the Ab Abiezerite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in winepress to keep it from the Midianites. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Let us pray. Father God, once again, we ask the empowerment of your Holy Spirit to your people and even to your servant, O God. And give us one mind, one heart, one spirit in receiving your word. And we believe that you will speak forth to your people, O God, that can change their lives inside out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. So, uh, yan po ay uh, patungkol kay Gideon. Pero po, before I will dig on to it, yan po sa verses na binasa ko po, uh, I'll be showing you a picture. Ayan po yung uh, picture. Ayan. Yung uh, aquarium. Ayan po isang aquarium at meron po diyang uh, crab. No? Alam ko po na marami po sa atin ng may paborito po ng crabs. Magsabi ka ng amen. Amen. So, ano po ba yung matututunan po natin dyan? Kasi marami pong klaseng aquarium. Ako po ay mahilig mag-alaga rin po ng mga different na mga isda or fish. No? Salt, salty, uh, salt fish or yung uh, sa freshwater fish. Napakaganda kasi nakaka-therapeutic siya. Kaya lang pansinin po natin may mga takip po yun. Pero ito po ang mga crabs. Pag yan pala ay mahilig kang mag-alaga ng crabs at hindi mo na siya kailangan takpan sa aquarium. Bakit po? Kasi po, wala ka nang ipag-aalala na yan po ay aalis doon sa aquarium dahil po pagka may isa po dyan o dalawang umaangat, umapanik, ang, ten, ang gagawin po yung instinct ng natitirang mga crab sa loob ng aquarium ay hihilahin niya pababa yun. Ayaw po niyang makakaalis yun or aangat. Amen? Pero ito po sa scripture na binasa po natin, no? going back, sabi ng angel kay Gideon, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Meron po bang pagkakataon sa buhay mo na may nagdi-declare na something nakakaiba yung pagtingin niya o pagtangi sa iyo? Buhat nung nakilala mo si Kristo. Pero parang ang ramdam mo ay... Hindi ikaw yun. Hindi para sa yun. Or meron ka namang momentum na gusto mong uh, mag-excel, mag-level up, pero may mga taong ayaw naman ikaw ay hayaang umangat. At magamit ng Lord yung full potential mo. Amen? Kayo na lamang po ang makasasagot, I do and I do believe meron na tayo mga karanasan patungkol sa bagay na ito. Amen. And do you observe that God does not reveal everything what lies ahead? Napapansin po ba natin na si Lord, hindi niya i-reveal lahat? Yung mamaya, yung bukas, at darating na, pa, na panahon. Wala nakakaalam. Si Lord lang. Amen. And God never changes. But life does. Si Lord, hindi magbabago. Pero ang buhay po natin laging merong pagbabago. Very uncertain. Walang katayakan. Amen? And your life has purpose and destiny is a touch. Sa totoo lang, lahat po tayo ang buhay na ito meron pong purpose. At napakaganda po, alamin po natin. Yung purpose na yan na ibinigay po ng Lord. At meron pong destiny na naka-touch dyan. Kasi nga, sabi, isang miserabling buhay. Hindi yung pagiging mahirap eh. Yung kakulangan na ng buhay po ang isang tao sa mundo. Sabi, isang miserabling buhay po o failure sa buhay ng tao yung hindi niya alam yung God-given purpose niya. Amen? And God didn't create you or me to live a mediocre life. Amen? And God can promote Oh, uh, can promote men and women in order that His plan will be accomplished. Si Lord mag-raise up yan na mga taong pwedeng gamitin ng Lord. At yung available at alam yung purpose ni Lord sa kanyang buhay. 
para mangyari yung plano ni Lord. No? Sa church, sa ministry, sa personal mong buhay. Can we say amen? And the life of Gideon are guidelines. Are guidelines for all believers who desire to do great things for God. Sino po rito ang gusto mo makagawa ka ng mga great things para kay Lord? Magsabi ka ng Amen. Amen? Kaya nga po, I'll be showing you again a picture. Sabi po, ayan po yung Israelites. No? Uh, yung kwento po doon sa, sa verses na binasa ko, uh, involved po dyan yung bayang Israel. Amen? At ang pangyayari po dyan sa Judges chapter 6, kasi napakahaba po ng, ng Judges chapter 6, 7, dalawang chapters po yan para kay Gideon. No? Uh, sa madaling sabi po, they did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. Umuha na naman sila ng mga bagay na hindi kayang tingnan ng Lord. They forget God and became self-sufficient. And the Lord handed them over to Midian or Midianites for seven long years. Ibinigay sila ni Lord sa kanilang mga kalaban for seven years. Kaya nangyari po, Uh, yung panahon po dyan ni Gideon, sila po ay nagtatago sa bundok, sa kweba, dahil po inahabol po sila ng mga kalaban. Amen? Nagtatanim sila, pero pagka yung aanihin na sinisira po yun. So wala silang napapakinabangan. Amen? Yan po yung buhay nila dahil nga po, they did evil in the sight of the Lord. Amen? They cried out for the Lord. Dahil wala na. Wala na silang magawa. Helpless na sila. Kaya sila po ay tumawag muli sa Panginoon. At alam niyo po ba yung multiple cycles of Israel during the era of Judges? Uh, una, prosperity. Pinagpapala sila ng Lord. After na pinagpapala, susunod rebellion. Nagre-rebelde kay Lord. Pangalawa, parurusahan sila ng Lord. Punishment. Pagka naramdaman po nila yung Uh, pagtutuwid ng Lord, magre-repent naman po sila. Then, i-rescue sila ni Lord. Tapos, ipaprosper na naman po sila ni Lord. Then, magre-rebel din na naman sila. Kapatid, sometimes in our lives, no, eh, tanggapin din po natin, sometimes may mga bagay din po tayong parang nagiging cycle. No, during nang nandiyan po yung grabbing-grabbing blessing, ang dami nating naipapangako kay Lord. So, minsan, sasabihin pa natin, Word, words are not enough, Lord, but sometimes uh, lumalayo tayo sa Panginoon pagka meron po mga problema. Amen? Kaya nga po, ang susunod po dyan, Israelites, uh, Midianites naman po, yan po yung Midianites, uh, extremely powerful po nung time ni Gideon, ruthless, sabi nga, walang awa, no mercy. No? At marami silang, meron silang vast armies, camels na sabi ng Bible, hindi mabilang o sindami ng buhangin. Ang dami po nun, hindi na mabilang. Ganyan po, kapowerful po ang Midianites at in-invade po nila ang bayang Israel dahil nga, they did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Ibinigay po sila ng Panginoon. At doon po, at meron pa po tayong, yan nga po yung ating pag-uusapan, yung life ni Gideon. Sino po ba si Gideon? Son of Joas, from the Abizarite clan in the tribe of Manas, uh, Manasseh. Ang sinabi pong Abizarite, the weakest in the tribe of Manasseh. Pinakamahina sa 12 tribes. Kasi uh, doon sa Manasseh. Okay? At si Gideon po ay least in the family. He is a farmer. And katulad din ng ibang Israelites, nagtatago din po siya sa kweba. No? Uh, dahil po sa takot, sa Midianite. And life of Gideon will help us to cross, uh, cross our God-given identity and, then, and destiny. Matututunan po natin ngayong umaga yan. And God does not cease people, like what I've said, to raise people to accomplish His plan. Sino po ang naniniwalang ikaw at ako ay hinahanap po ng Lord para ma-accomplish po yung magandang plano ng Diyos at ma-accomplish po yung purpose niya sa buhay natin magsabi ka ng Amen. Amen? So, He is searching you. 
Katulad po ng ginawa niya kay Gideon, sabi po dyan, The angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in Oprah that belonged to Joas the Abyssalite where his son Gideon was threshing with in winepress to keep it from Midianites. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Kanina binanggit ko po, sabi nga, list po yung kanilang lahi o pamilya sa tribe ng Menase. At si Gideon po ay natatakot. Tapos bigla niya hong narinig po ito mga words na to, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Amen? At ito po, sabi nga, ito rin po yung lowest point ng bayang Israel kasama po si uh, Gideon dito, bankrupt sila po spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, economically, lahat ng area nila bankrupt po sila. Dahil po sa kanilang present situation, nagtatago sila sa kweba. At yung kanilang relationship kay Lord, they went, uh, the relationship with God went wrong. Hindi gum, uh, napasama, hindi po gumanda. Amen? At hindi nila kayang harapin yung kaaway. Dahil naging self-sufficient na po sila. Amen? At sabi nga po rito, Uh, tinawag ng angel si Gideon, mighty warrior or mighty man of valor, no, sa New King James Version or King James Version, the angel is calling Gideon a God-given identity to him. Yun ang hindi alam ni Gideon eh. Ito yung identity niya sa harapan ng Panginoon. Mighty warrior, mighty man of valor. Amen? And valor means courage. <laughs> ano kaya mararamdaman natin kung tayo po? Sige, takot na takot ka. <laughs> Nagtatago ka sa media na biglang darating yung anghel. Nasabihin, ikaw ay isang taong matapang. Di ba? Parang opposite do sa present na pagkakatingin mo sa sarili mo. Amen? Ganyan po si Gideon. Pero alam niyo po ba, ang name ni Gideon uh, means scatter down or destroyer. Naibigay ng tatay niya yan. Kaya nga doon po sa, sa Bible, uh, synonymous po ang mga pangalan ng tao. Amen? Do sa identity at destiny nila. Amen? Ang maganda po rito, with God's help, Gideon is destined to be a leader. Sa tulong ni Lord, mangyayari yung pangalang nakakabit sa kanya at kahulugan ng kanyang pangalang. Kahit kay Gideon, hindi niya naiintindihan. Can we say Amen? Uh, Gideon sees himself insignificant and powerless dahil nga po may fear, may weakness siya. Pero God step in in usual life ni Gideon. Yung ito na lang ako. Kawawa ako. Takot ako eh. Takot ako labas eh dahil mayroong mga Midianites. Pero nag-step in si Lord do sa usual, yung daily grind ni na takot na takot siya para maging unusual ang buhay ni Gideon for His praise, for His glory. Can we say Amen? At sabi nga, the angels' greetings, no? Ito po, paggaling sa langit yung salita, meron po itong word of encouragement sa puso ni Gideon. Kahit alam niyang hindi sa'yo, na-encourage si Gideon. Amen? And it reveals to Gideon a new identity and destiny. May, may pagbabago, may mangyayaring pagbabago. Amen? And set Gideon out in hiding into history. Doon sa patago-tago, magkakaroon pala ng history ito dahil ang hell na yung nagsasalita eh. Amen? Alam niyo po ba, when God meet you in undesirable place. Yan may be yung place na may takot, may worries, kung ano-ano pa. Maraming bagages. Alam nyo si Lord, He doesn't come in with harsh words of accusation. Hindi ka sisisihin ng Lord. Bagkos, i-encourage ka, i-empower ka ng Panginoon. Gaya niyo yung Diyos na pinupuntahan natin sa lugar na ito. Punong-puno ng encouragement. Amen? And when God meet you in undesirable ways, He start His transformational work in your life. 
Amen. Pag nag-step in na si Lord, inalaw mo, merong pagbabago na mangyayari po sa present situation po natin. Can we say amen? And when God meets you in an desirable place, He sees your potential and He wants you to see it too. Nakikita ni Lord na potential ka. Potential kang makapagdadala ng kaluluwa kay Lord. Potential ka na makapagsiserve kay Lord. Potential ka na maaakay mo yung mahal mo sa buhay kay Lord. Can we say amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Sabi ko po, palakpakan po natin ng Lord. Kaya nga po, uh, He is searching you. Nagahanap si Lord na mga taong pwede niyang gamitin. Kaya nga, uh, sa mga uh, hindi pa ho, ano, uh, sabi nga ho, mag-asawa. ba? Diba? Pagka yung bang nandun pa kayo sa stage na mag-boyfriend, talaga nagahanap ka, nagsisearch ka. Pero pagka nakita mo na pinag mo, tama, ayos ng lahat, tapos ka na sa pag-aaral mo, tama, okay na rin ang parents, so magsisettle na. Parang nasasabi mo, the search is over na. Siya na. Lalo na alam mong nilalapit ka niya kay Lord. Pero pwede kayang hindi lang sa love life mo nasasabi mo na the search is over, pwede kayang mas dapat kay Lord, kumit mo, kumit mo na ngayong araw. Amen? The search is over, Lord. Here I am, Lord. Use me. Lord, nandito po ako. Katagpuin mo po ako. Gamitin mo po ako. Can we say amen? Sino po rito yung sinasabi mo yan kay Lord? Lord, hindi na ako tatakbo-takbo. Lord, uh, susunod na po ko. The search is over. Use me, Lord. Pumalakpak ka kay Lord. Amen. Sabi ko po, pumalakpak ka kay Lord. Kasi po, sabi ng scripture, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God's prepared in advance for us to do. Wow! Tayo pala ay talaga naman nilikha ng Lord, gumawa ng mga bagay na mabubuti, no? Which God's prepared in advance for us to do. Nakahanda na kapatid, lalakaran na lang po natin. Amen. And God initiates our identity and destiny. We are God's masterpiece. Buong ingat po tayong kinreate, fearfully, wonderfully made ka kapatid. Dahil merong magandang plano si Lord sa iyo. Amen. We are God's treasure. Kayamanan po tayo. Iyan ba ang tingin natin sa sarili? Amen. We are God's treasure. Amen. And we are God's children. Dahil sa ginawa ni Kristo, kapatid, itinuring na po tayong anak. Dati kaaway, hiwalay tayo. Pero dahil sa ginawa ni Jesus, sa cross. Nagkaroon ng divine exchange eh. Yung dati tayong hindi iti, na tinuturing na kaaway, di ba? Tinuturing tayo dahil sa kasalanan. Pero yung ginawa ni Jesus, may divine exchange. Nabalik yung pagiging anak po natin. Can we say amen? Amen? And God will always consistent to help you to fulfill your destiny to reign. Always remember that you are absolutely unique like everyone else. Meron pong uniqueness sa atin. Sa totoo lang, unique yung mga experiences mo sa buhay. Iba-iba ang kwento ng buhay natin. Can we say amen? Iba-iba rin ang galaw ng Lord. Can we say amen? Amen. Yung passion, iba. Iba-iba yung passion po natin. Amen. At sabi, abilities, spiritual gifts, yan po ang meron kay Lord. E nga kung si Gideon po ay nasurpresa, Kapatid, sa umagang ito, sa araw na ito, I know and I do believe, hindi po aksidenteng napapakinggan niyo po itong message na ito. Take time to pray and ask God, what have you called me to do? Lord, ano ba ang gusto mong ipagawa sa akin? And likewise, para po maintindihan po natin na merong purpose at napakaganda yung destiny, the Lord has called us to reign, no? Sabi nga po rito, us also, your godly leaders, what they see in you. 
Napaka-importante po na yung mga spiritual leaders po natin, yung bang we pray for it and wag po tayo mag-hesitate na tanungin. Pastor, ano po ba ang nakikita mo sa akin? Sana ko pwedeng gamitin ng Lord. Kaya nga po ako, paulit-ulit ko nang binanggit to nung nandito po si Pastor Jun, eh nagulat po ako nung tinawag niya po kung magpapastor ka, ha? Magpapastor ka, ha? <laughs> Di ba? Kahit si misis ko, ha? Hindi makapaniwala. Totoo lang, sa totoo lang, hindi rin ako makapaniwala. No? Pero, di ba, nagsasalita sa akin yung men of God ko. Alam kong hindi ako binubola. Hindi, hindi niya ako yung parang, uh, ano lang, ma-encourage ako for something-something. Kundi, Lord, let your will be done. Kasi men of God ko na ang nagsasalita. Can we say Amen. Hallelujah. Ask your godly leader to speak into your life. Napakaganda. Yung nagsasalita. Gagamitin ka ng Lord. You're touching the things that is important to the Lord. Lalo na sa mga workers, importante kay Lord yan. Gawa, gawain ng Lord, dinahawakan natin yan. And privilege po yun. Privilege po yun. Seryoso si Lord nung inintra sa atin yan. At inaasahan ng Lord, pagyayamanin po natin, iingatan natin, at gagawin natin galing sa puso. Can we say amen? Kaya si Daniel, sabi po dyan, But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploit. Sabi nga, ang ngunit ang bayan na nakakilala sa kanilang Diyos, magiging matibay at gagawa ng kabayanihan. Amen. Yan po yung inaasahan sa atin ng Lord that we will carry out great exploits for His praise, for His glory. Amen. And number two, ititest po tayo ng Panginoon. Amen. So, makita po natin bago gamitin ni Lord si Gideon, si Gideon, sabi niya ni Gideon, Pardon me, my Lord. Gideon replied, But if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Sabi kasi ni Lord sa kanya, gagamitin siya para sa Midianites, mighty warrior. Sabi ni Gideon, pardon me, my Lord. Gideon replied, but if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Were all his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hand of Midian. Gideon is questioning God's fairness. Amen? Makita po natin yan yung tinatanong niya, Why has all this happened to us? Bakit nangyayari ito sa amin? Tinawag pa siyang mighty warrior. Man of valor. Pero sabi ni Gideon, bakit nangyayari sa amin to? Amen? Minsan sa buhay natin, natatanong natin, Why me, Lord? Why me? Wala naman siguro nagsasabi, sana all, pag may problema. Why me, Lord? Amen? Amen? Kaya Gideon is questioning God's power. Where are all these wonders? Di ba? Yung kwento sa amin ng mga leaders, mga matatanda, nilabas mo sa Egypt, nasana yun. Amen? And sometimes in our lives, why won't He help me? Bakit hindi mo ko tinutulungan, Lord? Amen? And God's faithfulness. Amen? Now the Lord has abandoned us. Pakiramdam nila Gideon, o oh, alam po nila, ramdam nilang wala na si Lord. Bakit? Because they did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Amen? Misa natatanong natin, where is God? Where is Jesus when I need you, Lord? When I need Jesus? Lalo na doon na sa mga tough times sa buhay natin. Amen? Yung wala na tayong magawa. Alam nyo, when God called Gideon, He didn't know what His future and destiny. Hindi niya po alam yon. Because Gideon is warrior, but God is calling him to be a warrior. Warrior siya. Amen? Kaya nga po, makita po natin ulit dito, sabi ni Gideon, Pardon me, my Lord. Gideon replied, But how can I save Israel 
Sinabi niya po, my clan is the weakest in the Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. Ang liit ng tingin niya. Diba? Pero, the Lord answered, I will be with you. And you will strike down all the Midianites, leaving none alive. Pinasabi niya kay Gideon, alam niya eh, nakakarelate siya kay Gideon kung ano yung pakiramdam ni Gideon. Pero sabi ni Lord, ni Lord, I will be with you. Sasamahan kita. Can we say Amen. Amen? Kaya nga po, when God gave us examination or testing, He wants to get our attention. Baka maaari pong doon na lang tayo nakatingin sa problema. Amen? At yung mga, mga bagay-bagay na pwede po nating gawin on our own strength. Kaya nga dumarating pala itong testing in life para po makabalik yung attention natin kay Lord. I don't know whatever what uh, what is your present situation. Maring masyado na tayong distracted sa nangyayari sa mundo. Amen. At yung mga personal nating problema na parang paggising natin nandiyan na, nandiyan nang nakaharap sa atin isang giant. Kaya hindi tayo maka hindi makuha ni Lord yung attention natin but today the Lord is telling to us balik po tayo sa kanya. Amen. Amen. Ito mga testing in life para makabalik po tayo. At yung attention, na, attention natin ay ma-focus kay Lord. Because God test, no, God test us to turn it to into testimony. Kaya tayo binibigyan ng test ng Lord para maging testimony po ito. Amen po ba? And when we, when we pass it, and testing in life draw us closer to God. Ito mga pagsubok sa buhay, ito po ay talaga pong nagdadala sa mga taong nagtitiwala, nagmamahal kay Lord. Uh, nagdadala po ito ng lalo po tayong lumapit sa Panginoon. Can we say Amen? Today, today Church, God is redeeming you from your weaknesses. Sa mga struggles sa buhay, gusto kang i-redeem dyan ng Lord. Sino po rito ang gusto mong mapalakas ka ng Panginoon? Magsabi ka ng Amen. Amen. Rely on God's strength. Amen. Hugo tayo ng lakas sa ating Panginoon. God can accomplish our destiny as we pass the test. Amen. Kaya nga po rito sa verse na ito, The same night, the Lord said to him, Take the second bull from your father's herd, the one seven years old. Tear down your father's altar to Baal and cut down the Asherah's pole beside it. Nung nag-respond po si Gideon, nung na-search po siya, natagpuan siya, minit siya ng Lord, in-encounter siya ng Lord, tinesh siya ng Panginoon. Pero hindi muna sa malaki. Ito muna kasi nga po ang bayang Israel, pati ang tatay ni Gideon, sumasamba na sa Diyos-Diyosan. Kaya yan po yung test sa kanya ng Lord. Tear down your father's altar to Baal and cut the Asherah pole beside it. Alam nyo, hindi po madaling gawin yan. Dahil po, malalagay po sa panganib ang buhay ni Gideon. At ganoon din po ang kanilang reverence paggalang sa kanyang tatay. Kaya nga po, si Gideon po, bago po siya dalin sa mas malaking bagay na pwedeng ipagkatiwala ng Lord, sinusinubok siya ng Lord sa maliit na bagay. Same thing with us, church. Si Lord, Bago tayo pagkatiwalaan, gumalaw, doon sa mga malalaking bagay, titingnan niya muna kung mapapagkakatiwalaan niya tayo sa maliit na bagay. Can we say amen? Sino po ang nangangarap na gamitin ka ni Lord na sa mga great things na nais niya sa buhay mo, magsabi ka ng amen? Sa karir mo, sa negosyo mo, sa family mo, kapatid, maging mabuting katiwala po tayo. Amen po ba? Amen. Kaya nga si Gideon po, nalista yan. No? Sa Hebrews chapter 11, sa Hall of Faith. Amen. Hall of Faith list. Naisama po si Gideon. Tsaka, ang significant life, no? Sino po rito ang gusto mo magkaroon ng significant ang buhay mo? Magsabi ka ng Amen. Yung, pag sinabi mong significant life, yung may highlights, 
Para do sa mga babae, di ba, pag yung uh, black ang buhok mo, naglalagay ng high. Napapansin, may ibang kulay. Sinong gusto mo maging makulay ang buhay mo for His praise, for His glory? Magsabi ka ng Amen. Amen. Testing from God. Ito po magdadala sa atin after we pass the test. Amen. Iti-test ni Lord kung talaga ba siya yung Lord of Lords ng buhay natin. King of Kings ng buhay po natin. Pag okay po yon, check, magkakaroon po ng significant ang buhay natin. Kasi nga, yung bang kanina na banggit ko, may unconditional surrender. Hindi tayo nakikipag-battle kay Lord. Surrendered lahat. Yung I surrendered all, hindi I surrendered some. Amen? So, uh, it may be a test of relationship kay Lord. Sino ba ang mas mahalaga, relationship mo kay Jesus o yung present na relationship mo sa asawa mo, sa pamilya mo, at sa mga taong nakakonek sa iyo? Amen? Ano yung mas bibigyan mo ng timbang? Relationship mo kay Jesus o yung relationship mo sa mga taong ipinagkatiwala lang sa iyo ng Panginoon? Amen? At another test, it may be a test of discipleship. Talagang willing ba tayong ibigay yung time natin kay Lord? Buhay kung buhay sa pagsiserve kay Lord. Hindi lamang in words, kundi merong action. Willing to take the risk para kay Lord. Can we say amen? Alam nyo, God is patient with our faith process. Don't be discouraged. Si Lord, mahaba po ang pasensya. Mag-aantay ang Lord. Para yakapin po natin yung mga bagay na gusto po ni Lord na uh, maipasa po nating mga test na ibinibigay niya sa buhay. And He meets you right where you are and what you need. Even though we are slow returning to Him, He is never slow in responding to us. Laging nandyan po ang Lord. Pagka nangihina tayo, palalakasin tayo ni Lord. Pag nadi-discourage po tayo, i-encourage po tayo ni Lord from His Word. Can we say Amen? Hallelujah. Kaya nga po, sabi po dyan, But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Amen. Iba po si Lord. Hindi siya naghahanap po ng mga, kumbaga, well, salamat sa Lord kung meron tayong mga accomplishment. No, may mga masteral, doctorate, whatever pa yan. Pero, mga kapatid, ang hinahanap po ng Lord, yung puso po natin. Sa paglilingkod po kay Lord, pusuan po ito. Nakikita po ni Lord, kung genuine yung saya, yung talagang uh, service natin sa Panginoon. Can we say amen? Kaya nga po, Bible characters destined to reign, si Joseph. No? Alam naman po natin si Joseph, who God destined to be governor. Slave po si Joseph, pero naging governor. Pangalawa sa hari. As si Moses po, herdsman. No? Pagkapatay niya doon sa Egyptian na, na soldier, o isang Egyptian, no? siya po'y nagtago, pero tinawag pa rin po siya ng Lord na maging deliverer para sa bayang Israel. And David destined to kill Goliath. A shepherd. Amen? Para at naging second king po ng uh, Israel. And God destined us to advance His kingdom. We are destined to reign, to advance the kingdom of God. Can we say amen? And so after searching and testing, then God wants us to be in the place of feeling. Let's say after me, feeling. Kasi po, si Gideon po, nung siya po ay na-meet, na-encounter ni Lord, tines siya po, masa si Gideon, sinira niya yung altar. Ngayon po, dinala siya ni Lord uh, do sa place ng feeling. Ipifilled na po siya ng Espiritu ng Lord. Sabi po dyan, the Spirit of the Lord came on Gideon. And he blew a trumpet summoning the Abyssalite 
to follow Him. Ganun pala yun, after po ng testing in lives, nakapapasa tayo, dyan ka lang pala pwedeng punuin ng Espiritu ng Lord. Kasi pag hindi tayo pumapasa sa mga testing, meaning merong, ano eh, merong kumukuha ng lugar ng Lord sa buhay po natin and even in our hearts. Pero pag yan ay empty, we surrendered everything to the Lord, that's the time pinifil po tayo ng banal na Espiritu Santo. Same thing kay Gideon, the moment where Gideon received God's power, he has been met by God, tested by God, and God's power entered his life. Amen? The Spirit came upon Gideon means, in Hebrew, no? The Spirit clothed himself with Gideon. Binalutan si Gideon. Iisa na sila. In control na yung Spirito ng Lord kay Gideon. Wala nang resistance kay Gideon. Amen. Kaya nga po yung kanyang worries, nawala eh. Yung fear niya, na-activate na yung faith niya kasi iisa na sila ng Espiritu ng Lord. Amen. Kaya nga po, it is like saying, Gideon, I am going to take over your body, your whole being. Nagpoplo na lang si Gideon. Kung ano yung sinasabi ng Lord sa kanya. Amen? Kaya nga po, now he has the spiritual power to go with this new identity of a mighty warrior. I see, without the empowerment feeling of the Spirit of God, hindi niya yayakapin yung kanyang new identity na siya na yung warrior. Dati noon, takot ako. Ngayon, tapang ako. Kasama ko ang Panginoon. Can we say Amen? And Gideon's first empowered act to roll of a leader to blow a trumpet. Tut, tut, tut! Matapang na, may boldness na! O may ihip na lumabas na sa kweba. At ang nag po, dahil nilukuban ng Spirit, nag po yung 32,000. Just try to think. Tingin niya mahina nung no, walang empowerment. Pero nung nilukuban, nakiisa sa Espiritu ng Diyos. Nagre-respond na ang tao because meron ng anointing. Yung 32,000. Amen. At sabi pa ni Lord, niyo po, pinatanong ni Lord, sabi ni Lord, marami pa yung 32,000. Pwede magsabi si Gideon kay Lord, Lord naman, sindami ng buhangin ito, hindi ko kaya. Hindi na nagtatanong, nagtitiwala na lang sa Panginoon. Nagtitiwala. Sabi ni Lord, bawasin, tanungin mo kung merong ah, natatakot dyan. And 22,000 po from out of 32, nagsabing natatakot. Pinauwi ni Gideon. Bakit? Kasi alam ni Lord na itong mga natatakot pwedeng makahawa doon sa mga natitira. At sabi ni Lord, baka ang kinin, yung glory, yung honor ng bayang Israel na sila, sila ay nagtagumpay hindi dahil sa lakas ko at kapangyarihan ko. Umuwi po yung 22,000. At ang nangyari po, sabi ni Lord, marami pa rin yung 10,000. Gideon, painumin mo. Yung iinom sa kamay, okay, uh, okay yon. Pero yung iinom ng hindi ginagamit ng kamay na parang aso, pauwiin mo. So, to cut the story short, 9,700 ang mga uminom sa kanilang bibig, hindi sa kamay, pinauwi ni Lord yon. Bakit po? Kasi po, ang significance nun, the drinking method they showed, They were careless and lack of caution. Mapapahamak yung gustong itira ni Lord. At ang natira po, 300. From 300, merong harmony, merong unity, pinatunog yung trompeta, binasag yung mga jars, at sabi po ng story po, nagkagulo-gulo po ang mga Midianites, pinagkagulo ng Lord, at pinagtagumpay sila ng Panginoon. Again, we say, Amen. Hallelujah. Sige po, palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Yung po yung nagagawa ng Espiritu ng Diyos, pag-empowered po tayo ng Lord. Sabi nga po, there are three stages to every great work of God. It is, pag may pinapagawa po ng Lord, una titingnan po natin, imposible yan. Amen? Parang kay Gideon, walang sense. Pangalawa, it is difficult. Mahirap. Pero pagkasama natin si Lord, sabi na salita niya, Is there anything too hard for me? Says the Lord. And number three, it is done. Tatapusin ni Lord yung bagay na pinasimula niya sa atin. Can we say amen? When you are filled with God's power, it is easier to trust God. Napakadali na magtiwala kay Lord. Pagpuno ka ng Espiritu Santo sa buhay mo. And it is easier obeying the Lord. Even it is illogical and doesn't make sense. Sumunod lang tayo, mga kapatid, sa pinapagawa ng Paginoon. Amen? And it makes clear this morning, God's desire to see you living an overcoming and victorious life. God already has your promotion in mind. Sino po ang masaya na ikaw ay nakalagay sa isip ni Lord? Iaangat ka ng Lord. Gagamitin ka ng Panginoon. Pumalakpak ka sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. He wants to reign you in your life. He wants you to reign over sickness. Amen. Gusto niya panampalataya mo kaya kaya kanyang pagalingin. Kasi gagamitin ka ng Panginoon eh. He wants you to reign over diseases. Financial lah. Kapatid, panampalatayanan mo. Kaya kang pagpalain ng Lord. Financially. Hindi ka, na, hindi ka na mangungutang, hindi ka na manghihingi. Ikaw na ang magiging vessel to bless others. Can we say Amen? Hallelujah. He wants to reign you in your fear. Ia-activate ni Lord ngayong umaga yung faith mo. Addiction, anxiety, whatever struggles in life, kaya mo yung pagtagumpayin. You were destined to reign. Because the scripture tells us, being confident of this, He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Sino po ang naniniwala na yung magandang sinimula ni Lord sa buhay mo, ipagpapatuloy niya. You are destined to reign. Kindly stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Could you kindly close your eyes? Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Maybe because of your present situation, you're losing hope. Tinitingnan mo yung sarili mo na mahina and even whatever struggles in your lives na para bang hindi mo ba overcome today the lord is telling to you that he has called you and he wants you to destine to reign over those things na naglalayo sa panginoon just surrender everything to the lord hallelujah allow him to step in into your lives right now hallelujah hallelujah I give myself away I give myself away So you can use me I give myself away I give myself away
those hands before the Lord. As you raise those hands, maniniwala ka, you are destined to reign. At mangyayari yung purpose ni Lord sa buhay mo. Hallelujah. And you will tell to God as you raise your hands before God, Lord, hindi na ako lalayo. Lord, hindi na ako tatakbo, Panginoon. The search is over. Here I am, Lord. Use me for your praise, for your glory, O God. For your kingdom's expansion, Lord. And Lord, I am willing, Lord, to uh, receive that test. Yung mga testing in life, Lord, alam kong sasamahan mo ako, Panginoon. And I have the desire to pass every testing in life in the name of Jesus. And because, because Lord, I do believe same thing what you have done to give you. You will fill me with your power, with your spirit. Pagkatapos ko pong maipasa itong test, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, maraming salamat, Panginoon. For your people, O oh God, that have the desire and believing, O oh God, that they are destined to reign, O oh God. At maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa umagang ito. Fill them with your spirit, O oh God, with your anointing, O oh God. And believing, O oh God, every works of their hands, O oh God, ibibless mo, Panginoon. Every words that they will release, O oh God, that they will speak life, O oh God. And through your word, O oh God, Lord, that they will be convinced in the name of Jesus that they are your treasure, that they are your children, O oh God, that their calling to you, God, is irrevocable, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will use them, O oh God, to harvest souls upon souls, O oh God. Gagamitin mo, Lord, in the last days ang iyong mga anak. Puspos ng iyong kapangyarihan. Puspos ng iyong Espiritu. Come on, receive it right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Receive God's power in your life. Hallelujah. Sing, my life is not my own. Lord, thank you for speaking to us this morning. Salamat po, Panginoon. Your word is a treasure to our heart, Lord God. And we continue to give our lives to you. We want to serve you, Lord, buong puso at walang pagkukunwari, Panginoon. Lord God, sa amin pong pagbibigay ng aming tithes and offering, Lord, may you use this for the expansion of your kingdom, Lord God. At salamat din, Panginoon, sa pangako mo that as we faithfully give, Lord, ng buo, no compromise, tithes and offering, 
You will rebuke the devourer. You will fill our barns, Lord God, at ibubuhos mo ang pagpapala na walang sukat na paglalagyan. Ito po ay aming pinanghahawakan. Salamat, Panginoon, at ingatan mo rin kami sa aming pag-uwi. Wala pong ma- magkakasakit, Lord God. Walang magkakahawaan dahil kami ay protektado mo sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. God bless you. to be a blessing I'm blessed I'm blessed living in the overflow living in the overflow living in the overflow God's grace and provision, Church of God Alongapo continues to operate both online and on site. If you desire to be a part of God's move in reaching more souls for His kingdom, let's faithfully give our tithes and offering. God said in Proverbs 3 verse 9 to 10, Honor the Lord by giving Him the first part of all your income, and He will fill your barns with wheat and barley and overflow your wine vats with the finest wines. Giving is not an obligation, but if you are willing, you may do so through the following.